Today we pray. Amen. Amen. Now if you can, come on stand up on your feet while we sing this song about uh, prayer chain day.
gave food, meat that they could take home. And one thing that, and we had our worship team out, we have this really um, live life uh, perf uh, puppet ministry that was there. But one thing I, I really noticed that the people of God was so open to the gospel. I mean, a lot of times we're asking them, well, do they want prayer? But we had a prayer in a, in a prophetic ministry team there. And I just really seen how um, the hand of God was just moving on the people. And they were really uh, receiving. And we were just really grateful for all the activity, the community coming through, that we could just service them and be a light to them. I am just really expecting God to do more and greater things as we uh, Possess the city, amen. And um, I'm just so proud, glad to be a part of it. Bless you. Praise God. The Pastor Bizzle, did you come up and share with the people? Boy, y'all looked at glorious out there. Pastor Bizzle and his wife. Yeah, praise God. Minister Riley. Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Truly, this has been an exciting time. Uh, this is our third year out on the corner of Russell and Saginaw. And, uh, and when I got there, I saw this young man walking, you know, and um, I just jumped right on it. That's something unusual. But I guess I learned it from the advantage of the spirits, you know. That's the Holy Ghost bonus. Because, you know, <laughs> you, you, know you, you cannot be shy. And I asked him what they feel they were the church. He said, no. And I said, what? I did the door open when he said that. <laughs> Praise God. So I had a chance to witness to him. We shared our information. He got his, you know, address, information, and everything. So we're going to do follow-up. I'm going to call him, you know. Praise God. So I thank God for this woman of God who, who helped us get out beyond the water. 
studio to say, hey, I forgot what y'all can go out with us. I had a lot of word to me, but I wouldn't get it out, you know, and you know, I tell you, it, it, just, it just hit me like a turn of brick, you know, but it, it taught us how to get out and evangelize, so I thank God for her, and we are looking forward to next year to have a greater, bigger time in the Lord. Amen. Hey man, I remember that scripture that said that the Lord would draw you to great and mighty people. I don't know exactly how the phrase goes, but I remember we had a rummage sale at our church, and this lady pulled up in a car, and she gave us a CD of prayer chain day. And, uh, you know, I always be prayerful, and, I, and my sister said, I know her. That's Evangelist Spears. I'm like, prayer chain day? So as we watched it, uh, we got hooked up. Amen. So we got uh, hooked up to a great connection. Yeah, I tell you, you know, winning souls for Christ is, a, is awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. And as we, we uh, a smaller congregation, but we're mighty. Yeah. And I, I thank God that we, he gives us the same out on the street and we be waving and singing and people be looking and one car almost had an accident looking. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I just thank God for that. And as we were singing, you know, some people try to run. They see you, they know what you're doing. They'll try to run. So we'll chase them. We'll God chase them. Amen. That's, that's, we got a song called God Chase. So it's, it's just like, you know, they can't get by us if we're really people of God. Because God has ordained us to win souls and to change people's life. Amen. And um, I watched this lady. She was sitting on the, look, the bank. And uh, I said, I kept looking at her. And I said, okay, she's sitting there anymore long. I'm across the street. I kept looking. So I ran across the street. And as I began to witness with her, you know, people have all kinds of excuses that they don't come to church. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I began to witness to her, she wept. And she said, I'm, I'm waiting on my daughter. So when her daughter got on the bus, they came and we shared with them. And so I just thank God for that. I thank God for the opportunity that we have to witness. Yes. And uh, someone says, a biker thing going on today. I said, but you know what we did was greater. Yeah. You know what, I thank God that uh, people's hearts were changed. We may not even spoke nothing, but our presence. And I was telling the uh, uh, pastor the how I enjoyed that stage mobile. I believe it was a different anointing. I, and that was a powerful stage. And, and I want to tell y'all that a lot of people sung, but I tell you what, we need to honor our own. I tell you what, I've never felt anointing like Antoine's family. Powerful. Let's back him. Don't burn your seat. 